okay, I'm just going to go straight to Ecclesiastes. And this is the only one I'm going to focus on today because it really is astonishing. It is the same for all, since the same event happens to the unrighteous and the wicked, to the good and the evil, to the clean and the unclean, to him who sacrifices and him who does not sacrifice. As the good one is, so is the sinner. And he who swears is as he who shuns an oath. This is an evil in all that is done under the sun, that the same event happens to all. Also, the hearts of the children of man are full of evil, and madness is in their hearts while they live, and after that, they go to the dead. But he who is joined with all the living has hope, for a living dog is better than a dead lion. For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing, and they have no more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Good and evil, what does it matter? I mean, who's to really say? What difference does it make? You try to be devout and make sacrifices. But it's no different from somebody who just indulges himself, lives the way he wants. Well, we're all going to die. A living dog is better than a dead lion. The lion is the most noble of creatures. At least that's traditional. The great nobility of the lion. But if a lion's dead, well, a live dog is better. Even a live cockroach is better. Incidentally, I once went to a science museum in St. Louis where um, the guy was extolling the virtues of evolution. I may have mentioned this in another video. And he was talking about the amazing cockroach who has survived and has not changed in evolution for millions of years. And the, and the marvelous cockroach, the pinnacle of creation, could survive even, even a nuclear war which would wipe out all other life on earth, but the cockroach would survive. Well, better to be a dead man than a living cockroach. And if you can't see that, I don't know how anybody can make you see that. Socrates, when he was put to death, recognized that no harm can come to a good man, meaning to die as a good man is better than to live as a bad man. It is worse to do harm than to receive harm. Better Socrates receive an unjust punishment of death than that he dole out unjust punishments or that he lie to save his own skin. Now, these are sort of basic things that you either see or you don't see. If there's no difference between good and evil, then we're in a fix, ain't we? And yet there is. We know that there is. We see it, we experience it every day, and we know that things like good and love, truth, beauty, and goodness transcend even death itself. And even if there is no afterlife, which the Jews didn't know about till late in Revelation, it's still self-evident that there are some things more important than death. And so the conclusions of the author of Ecclesiastes this preacher of cynicism and nihilism, modern though he may be, are wrong and invariably wrong. And as Peter Kraft says, Ecclesiastes asks the question that the rest of the Bible answers. Does life have meaning? Well, in a way, even Ecclesiastes answers that. Because even the problem that he sets up is, um, well, he's sort of, he sort of ginned the game from the beginning. The questions he's asking, he's asking from the point of view of someone who's blind, deaf, and dumb to the reality that's about him.